Good morning, students. Today I am going to start new chapter, air and water. The main objectives of this lesson are to learn about air and its importance, to understand the importance of water in our lives, to identify the different forms of water, to understand the water cycle and its importance. to understand the effects of water pollution to practice ways to conserve water first i will tell you the big picture of this chapter in this chapter we will study about air and its importance importance of water in our lives different forms of water water cycle and its importance water pollution and its effects different ways to save water before going to start first i will discuss technical terms of this chapter that is atmosphere wind breeze storm ground water evaporation condensation water cycle water pollution while we go through the chapter we will discuss all these terms turn by turn now today i will discuss atmosphere a layer of air around the earth breeze gentle movement of wind wind moving air number 4 storm strong movement of wind now students open your book on page 85 lesson 9 air and water you must have noticed that on some days it is easy to fly kites whereas on others it is a little difficult it is the air which helps you to fly kites easily now students let's start reading topic air around us air is present everywhere as we all know all living beings need air to breathe air is all around us either you are in your room or you are in the playground next line we cannot see air because it has no color also it does not have smell or taste but we can feel it when it blows underline this line it has no color it does not have smell or taste and write down properties of air these are the properties of air now next line air forms a thick layer around the earth this layer is called atmosphere underline this line air forms a thick layer around the earth The earth is a planet which is surrounded by a blanket of air that is called atmosphere. There are three modes of air. These are wind, breeze and storm. Now come to the next paragraph. Moving air is called wind. Students, when air starts moving, it is called wind and this helps to save the boat to run windmills etc next line a gentle movement of wind is called breeze when air is moving gently and we feel pleasant it is called breeze next line a strong movement of wind is called storm underline this line when air is moving with the force and cause destruction for example uprooting of trees and falling of electric poles this is called storm children now let's revise what are the properties of air air is colorless it is tasteless it has no smell question number 
What is atmosphere? A layer of air around the earth is called atmosphere. Tomorrow, I will continue with the next topic. Till then, read the chapter and revise terms. Thank you.